Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Acrylic. When we left off, we actually made it to the fifth floor, so that's exciting. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to run into, because this is the final floor. This is where our uh, whole adventure has been revolving around, so I don't know what's going to happen. But we're going to take this one room at a time. Holy crap, the fifth floor bathroom is nice. Or evil, depending on how you look at it, but it looks very nice. Let's see if we can look at anything or grab anything in here. There's always been either items or death. So I'm expecting one or the other when it comes to these. There has to be, right? I mean, maybe a pencil in the toilet? That would be interesting, actually, but wouldn't be the weirdest place we found a pencil. Okay. Nothing here, I don't think. I thought I saw something when I went through the mirror, but maybe I'm just seeing things. This game is messing with me a little bit. Okay. That's a simple pu public bathroom sink. Huh? There's something here. Ah, a pencil. I told you. I told you guys there was going to be a pencil. We knew this. Okay. So anything in the urinals? Hopefully not. That would just be gross. Anything on the walls? No. Anything in the toilet? A little bit of death? No? Okay, cool. Well, that's good. So far, so good. What room is this? Classroom 504. I don't know what classroom her locker is in. Professor's lounge. That sounds like it could be good or bad. Also, this area doesn't seem as foreboding as the other ones were, you know, either with the atmosphere or the fact that something was walking around. Are one of these lockers yours? Doesn't look like it. Classroom 503. Okay. Lecture hall. Lecture hall. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we had to keep on going, so let's see what's in Classroom 504. Is this your classroom? No? Anything here? Oh! Oh! As the precarious bookshelf falls suddenly on Nicole's small body, she feels the pressure of all of it, uh, holding... All of it was holding weight heavily upon her. With a loud snap, Nicole feels an immense rush of pain all over her body as the heaviness of the shelf easily breaks most of her bones. Can't breathe. Yeah, either could I. Good God, I couldn't even read for a second. Okay. I didn't realize that bookshelf was being a little precarious. I'm sorry about that. Okay, then. So don't look at the bookshelf. They just had to add a jump scare in there, didn't they? You aren't precarious, are you? Okay. So is there, there's anything in here that we need? Or nothing? Seems like nothing. We're gonna say nothing and keep on rolling. Professor's Lounge. We might meet a uh, terrible person here. Uh, though it looks like it should be in the corner. Okay, push it in the corner then. Huh? Oh, look what was under here. A pencil. Ah, oh, I'm a pencil hunter. Also, I'm really good at finding death. Um, actually, let's see how many times I've died. Student ID card. No, not that one. Oh, Nicole's ID, of course. 23 times. I think I've died plenty. Like, good God. That's what I get for being nosy and looking at every single thing, right? But again, there's nothing here. We found a pencil. But is that really it? That's really all that's here? Okay. I mean, we know the Dean's an all-around bad guy. But it also looks like a lot of these items have been colored in or on, so maybe that's why we can't examine them. Uh, 509 is tightly locked. It doesn't appear to be able to be opened without the appropriate key. Fair enough. Alright, what about here? Okay. Gotta be careful. Something could kill us. Actually, everything could kill us. It's an ease of holding up a blank canvas. Um, let's look at the rest of the room real quick. Since it's giving me the option. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. I guess we'll go ahead and save and uh, take a peek as to what's underneath here. Could it be death? I think it's death. Nicole bends down on her knees to the cold towel floor and warily examines underneath the easel's wooden frame. Before she can react, the splintery legs of the easel unexplicably lift up off the floor and slam together over Nicole's small- Like, this? Oh. 
As she fearfully opened her eyes, she saw something she couldn't believe. There, a few feet away from her, was her body. Her folded legs, her hands on the tile just where she had been. However, as her eyes traveled upwards, she noticed her own torso drenched in blood. Continuing her gaze, she traced the source, up to her chest to her neck. As her vision began to fade, the last thing she saw was her headless body, collapsing to the floor as it started to convulse violently. Shudder, shake, flail, until finally, it stopped. Yeah, I've heard that, uh... You can't scream, come on now, silly. You can't scream when your lungs are all the way over there on the other side of the room. Um, but yeah, apparently when people get their, like, their heads cut off for, like, executions and stuff, they're able to still process information for, like, a couple seconds before they die. Oh, God, it's so weird. What kind of stuff is creepy? Okay, what do we got? A strange abstract painting is hung, on, hung up in a crooked manner on the wall. On it are jumbled all sorts of sloppily painted numbers. It appears to say, oh, okay, let's see here. What do I got? What do I got? We've got one in six, one in six, two in eight, uh, one in nine, and one in zero. Okay. This painting's a mess. I love it. But what does it mean exactly? No idea. What about this one? Anything there? No. Okay, so we got a hint for something. I just don't know for what. That looks readable. Nope, it's not. It's just there. Calendar is not accessible. There's a canvas here, but nothing. Okay. I don't know if I'm happy or sad that there's not a lot I can interact with. Okay, let's go up here. Is there another painting or something? Um, hmm. That, why is that chair pushed out? Actually, there's some random chairs pushed out, aren't there? Okay, might be helpful. But as of right now, not a whole lot of help's going on. Um, okay. I don't see anything. That's a bummer. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's something. We just have to come back to it later. I'm trusting you, game. I'm trusting that you're going to give me something helpful. Um, okay, so... I don't know what that means with the code. 1 and 6, 2 and 8, 1 and 9, and 1 and 0. Okay... What are you asking about? 1 and 6 what? I'm afraid to go back down because I feel like, again, all of the puzzles have been self-contained. There hasn't been anything else where there where we needed to go to a different floor, except for like the items that we've obtained in like the infirmary. Okay. Okay. So it's not even the fact that you actually have to investigate the bookshelf. You just walk in front of it and it kills you. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that we got jump scared by the same thing twice. I say we, you guys were probably fine. I jumped like a little baby. Oh, oh, what's that? What was that? I tried to go downstairs to see if there's anything else and somebody laughed. H who's there? Show yourself. Hi. Uh, another spirit? Just how many girls are haunting this place anyway? H Hello, uh, my name's Nicole. I've been... I already know who you are. Y you do? But... The two of you have been going through the academy, helping all sorts of lost souls, haven't you? Well, yeah. Do... do you need help too? Oh no, of course not. Don't you worry, sweet girl. I know everything that I need to. But then why are you... In fact, I thought I may be able to help you. Help us? What do you mean? Well, I may have been able to search the whole school, right? I imagine there are still a few places that you haven't been yet. Uh, I, I guess so. But I think I really would like to just grab what I came for and go home. Well, if I'm not mistaken, your classroom is locked up for the night. If you'd like, I may be able to help you get inside. Really? You do that? Of course. It's the least I can do, seeing as you've been so kind to my fellow classmates. Take this key. I'm sorry it's not the key to the room you seek. However, you may be able to find something in there. Dean's office key? Wow, thank you so much. This is really helpful. 
Just be careful. I know what you suspect the Dean of. I will not linger in his private office for too long. Okay, thanks again. Ready, Joelle? <laughs> Definitely. I am so ready for movie night already. Though, I think we better watch something light, like a kid's movie or something. <laughs> Whatever you want, big sister. Um, I don't trust you at all. Why did you get the Dean's office? Glimmer and gold key labeled Dean. I mean, pretty straightforward, but really? Oh, that's so weird. I didn't know it was going to trigger something when I tried to go downstairs. I was just going to look and see if I missed anything. It was out here, right? Yeah. I might want to save again just to be super sure that uh, I don't get killed. Because it may be a timed thing. Ooh. The Dean's office key twists open the complex lock without trouble. Okay. Okay. We may not have a lot of time, so we need to look. Many expensive books line the shelves from volumes of encyclopedias to his own personal notes and memos. Okay. What about back here? On the wall hangs yet another award presented to the Dean for outstanding service and dedication to the Academy and his staff of students. Why did that girl have a key? Oh, so many questions. So many questions. Okay. Trash can? Nothing? Alright, desk. A neatly kept stack of documents sits on the desk. Take a peek. Yeah, let's do it. You shuffle through the papers, briefly glancing at the words on each one. Hmm. Looks like an invoice from the cafeteria for a food shipment. What else? An invitation to meet with deans from the surrounding colleges to discuss and compare curriculums. Hmm. Got anything there, Joel? <laughs> Not really. The most interesting I thing I've found so far is an itemized list of all the work orders for the maintenance staff. Darn. I thought we'd find something more than that. I guess this is the dead end. We'll have to get into classroom 509 some other way. Oh, hey, wait! I think I finally found something! R really? Give it here. Let me take a look. Th this is... I mean, I know it isn't, a see it isn't easy to see, but this is what we need, isn't it? I yeah, I guess it is. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, we got the key! With this, we should be able to get into your classroom once and for all. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go back upstairs then. What else did you get, girl? Hang on, she got something else, right? Or was it just that one thing? I don't know. I guess that's it. It seemed like she got something else. But I guess we're good. So we can just go to room 509 just like that? There's nothing else in the Dean's office? Either I'm missing something, or this game is messing with me. Or both. Could very easily be both. 503, where, where was 509? It was a little bit further down, wasn't it? Here? Yeah. Classroom 509? That, that seems a bit odd. Doesn't seem like there are enough rooms on this floor for it to be numbered like that. Barely squeezes into the lock, but with enough wiggling, it manages to unlock the sliding doors. Oh, yay. Silence. Ah, it's praised in so many places, but not here. It's an easel with red paint smeared messily on it. Okay. Blank easel. Ooh, let's take a peek. Oh, what's this? One of my pencils. Well, at least it was in my own room this time. True. Okay. I was going to say it's killed us before, so either it would be the same death animation or it was going to be something different. All right, anything else here? I can walk on the desks again. Yeah. All right. So this is our locker, right? What's this? Easels, I guess. Heavy set of rusted old metal lockers sits against the walls. They were put here to make it more convenient for our students to store their work so it wouldn't get damaged. Of course. Well, here we are. This one's my locker here. Phew. Finally. And after everything we've gone through today, it's about time. I yeah. Don't worry, little sis. We're just about done. <laughs> just think. We're just a quick walk out of here into my house, and then it's nothing but cuddles with Dexter, snacks, and not and some not scary at all movies. That that sounds perfect right now. Well, what are we waiting for then? Pop that sucker open and let's bail. Nicole used her set of keys to open up the locker. 
Okay, we got the portfolio. Huh? Huh? What is this scribbled on my portfolio? Scribbled on it? What do you mean? On the cover here. Something's been written on it with red paint or something. It's... It's still wet. Well, what does it say? It... It says... Give me that thing. Open your eyes. The end is near. You will never be safe. Open the safe. <clears throat> well, this is obviously some sick prank, right? There's no way whoever graded it would put this on there. Hey, whoever you are, if you're watching, you're one messed up lunatic. You hear me? Joelle. You better show your ugly face. I got a lesson to teach you. Joelle. Hmm? What? What's the matter? Can... Can... Can we just go, please? Oh, sis, I'm sorry. You're right. Let's get out of this stupid place. But I need to check the easel still. Oh! Oh! Mmm, he's there, isn't he? I is someone there? Uh oh! Mr. Aaron! It's... it's you! Wh what are you still doing here? I thought you were leaving quite a while ago. Yeah, why are you in a locked classroom, huh? Where the only key available was in the Dean's place. And the only way we got a key to that was from some rainbow-colored spirit lady girl that I don't quite trust. Um, alright. Well, thanks again for grading my portfolio so quickly. Um, I think Joel and I will be on our way then. It is my understanding that you and your meddlesome sister have intruded on the Dean's office. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So I am correct in assuming you came across some paperwork. Something maybe that was not pleasant to read? You're right we did. How about you tell us what you know about the whole nightmare, huh? Really, we're just dying to hear. <laughs> Very well, then. You see, the much-respected Dean and I have some, let's say, issues as of late. Some disagreements, you could call them. Several months ago, he approached me regarding a young student, a freshman studying in the sketching department. Uh, what was her name again? Christine? Catherine? Chelsea. Her name was Chelsea, you idiot. Why, of course, Chelsea. He met with me one day to confront me on some rather troublesome accusations she had made. Some accusations regarding a certain revered staff member of the academy, as I am sure you are aware. And of course, he asked what I thought of her wild claims that some person was harassing her and torturing her during her day-to-day -day school life. It is quite clear that he was looking for some answers, some sympathy, something to show that we were on the same side, and so I decided to be honest with him. I told him just as I'm telling you now, I had not seen the girl for a long while. Not too long later, he came asking about another girl, some red-headed troublemaker specializing in sculpting and pottery. Apparently, she had not been to class in an extended amount of time, and her poor parents had not heard from her. And so I told him, I had not seen her in quite some time either, unfortunately. You listen to me, Mr. Aaron. What kind of dedicated professor just sits idly and doesn't get involved to help when two students go missing? Now, now, Joel, you didn't let me finish. Joel? Several more weeks went by, and yet again, a third time, the dean approached me, this time, some photography student had managed to worry him. The dean was panicked by now, overwhelmed with worry for the three missing girls. I'm sorry, dean. However, I have not seen this girl in quite some time. <laughs> I suppose that must have been the moment he began to suspect me. Mr. Mister Aaron? Well, it's about time. My favorite student decides that she has something to contribute to the conversation. Yes? What is it, Nicole? Those notes... In the dean's office? Are they true? Did he... Did he really suspect that you had hurt those girls? Yes, it is true. He grew suspicious of me. I suppose because I was fairly apathetic about those girls' well-being. I have so many students to attend to. How could I possibly genuinely care for all of them? So what about after that? What did you do, professor? Well, as a representative in academia, I found that it is much more effective to teach by showing rather than telling. Don't you agree, Nicole? What? What are you going to do? There's no need to worry. After all, I couldn't possibly hurt my prized pupil, now could I? No, I could not. Hey, why don't you take a look for yourself? 
What? Th that's... It's the Dean's head! What kind of monster are you? How dare you think you have the right to cause harm to others? To, to end a life? You're pathetic. Ah, uh, alas. Perhaps I am. After all, you said it best, Joel. I am but a monster. I can't control it. Maybe it's just in my nature. Or maybe it's something else. S something else? Professor? <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you girls. Here, take this. If you really are so involved in all of this, maybe you better open your eyes a little more. Dorm entrance key? A key to the dormitory building. Just what are we looking for there? Whatever tickles your fancy. I don't really care, to be honest. What you do is up to you. Just leave me be. Before I do something, we both regret. Um... Okay. Red paint. I was wondering if this is the part where the 1 and 6, 2 and 8, 1 and 9 thing was going to happen, but I guess not. Are you going to kill me if I keep talking to you? I just can't imagine Mr. Aaron doing something awful like that. Maybe you should try to talk to him. Yeah. P professor? <laughs> just as Nicole moved closer to her favorite professor, she felt an air around her grow cold. As she proceeded to stretch a finger out to tap his shoulder, that's when it happened. Professor Aaron whipped around with tremendous force, throwing his large masculine hands onto Nicole's throat. His eyes did not look like his own. They were empty and cold and full of darkness, as if someone else had taken over his body. He screamed loudly and grit his teeth together so hard, Nicole could hear the tiny w sounds of pressure between each two surface. As Nicole pleaded for her life and gasped desperately for air, he continued to squeeze harder and harder around her airway with an almost inhuman strength. Her vision grew fuzzy as his fingernails began to dig into the soft and sensitive skin of Nicole's neck. She felt hot tears pouring down her cheeks. It was then that she noticed something. Something on his face. As she looked closer, she wa saw one thing very clearly, despite her blurring sight. A grin. Her mentor pressed his thumbs viciously into her collarbone, drawing several small beads of blood to its surface. As she, as she smiled so tight. What? Who? Nicole thought that his jaw may break. Who smiled? That's it. There. There. My favorite student. Oh, uh, okay. She heard him yell those words as his face grew uncomfortably close to her, uh, her own with his hands all the while, strangling the life out of her. The last thing Nicole saw was that grin. That crazed grin. As his fingers tightened around her neck and she took her last breath. Mmm. Mmm. Nope. Okay. So he may not be... I don't want to say he may not be bad, because, like, I think he was covering for the Dean. I don't know if the Dean is the actual bad guy in this game, though. He could be the scapegoat. Um, but is he really being taken over by something? Probably so. So, it's hard to say. It's hard to determine what's really going on here. Okay, so the dorms should be up here. Yep. Alrighty. Whoa, it's bright in here. Okay. What? I don't know what to do. Everything's locked. Um, hmm. I'm not liking the feel of this too much, to be 100% honest with you. Now, there was the note on the portfolio that says uh, to go check the safe. I just don't think we have every code combination yet, so I'm not doing it quite yet. The door appears to be unlocked. The metal plate on the door says Chelsea Whitney. Go inside. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, we're in Chelsea's room now. Pastel pink flower pot rests on the back corner of the desk. Inside are frag fragrant pink posies. <laughs> I guess that Chelsea really likes pink. Probably. A book sits on the desk. A moderate amount of dust is collected on what seems to be a diary. Take a peek at its pages. Not yet. Pink frames hanging on the wall. Inside is a sketch of what looks like to be a young girl's doll. Oh, that's the doll we got out of the vending machine. I know I've seen it before. So... 
How did that sketch get in here? Cute mirrors attached to the wall. Rose-colored teddy bear sits on the dresser. It's old and worn and appears to have belonged to someone for a very long time. Oh, Chelsea. You were still so young, weren't you? A fuchsia picture frame on the wall has a detailed charcoal sketch inside of a fox. Wow, this is really well done. Neatly made bed is pushed against the wall. Its pink linens look clean and comfortable. Alright. Pink couch. <laughs> pink couches aren't that common. I wonder how long she looked around to find the perfect sofa for her taste. Okay, I'm going to save, but I'm going to save in a different slot just in case I did mess up here. Dear Diary, it's me again. Today was an amazing day. Remember that sketch I submitted for display? Well, of course you do, I guess. You remember everything. Well, it got accepted. Can you believe it? As you know, it's been hard adjusting to a new school, but I've thought about I've even thought about quitting, but not anymore. I'm so 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 excited. I can't wait to see something that I made up on the wall for everyone to admire. It'll be so great. Maybe the school isn't so bad, huh, diary? Well, I'm gonna get back to it. There's no time to waste. I have art to make. Mwahaha. <laughs> Chelsea. Okay. Is that it? Hmm. Uh, okay, so, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but we're on each floor where we've met those people. So Tessa's room is on the third floor of the dormitories, just like we saw her in the third floor of the school. Ugh, I don't know. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything else, but I'm guessing that's what it is here. Alright, so we need to check Ch Tessa's room. Cabinets filled to the room with all sorts of well-crafted dishes and pots. Each one is completely unique from its neighbors. Well, Tessa, did you make all of these? You must have really loved making art. Uh, more supplies are pressed high up on the shelf on the wall. Okay, no pencils. All sorts of clay and molding supplies are neatly organized in a tray on the desk. Picture on the wall of a bright flame burning. You sure had a fiery personality. I bet you looked at this all the time to remind yourself to keep your spunk on, huh, Tessa? Probably. <laughs> okay. A bed is placed in the nook of the dorm. It's four screen blankets of warm and inviting. So there's... Is there nothing in here? There's gotta be. A beautifully detailed bust is on the table. It appears to be almost complete. Looking at the base, you see something carved in neat letters. Mom. Aw, Tessa. Okay. I guess that's it. Hmm. You didn't have anything else, Tessa? Okay. I'm gonna trust you on that one. Because Chelsea had the diary. But yeah, everything else is locked. So, the fourth floor. Uh. Which one's it gonna be? Oh, this is so creepy. Yep. Hang on. I don't want to go in yet. I want to save. I know. I'm saving a lot, but I just want to save. Because, I mean, one of these is probably going to give me a false sense of security and I'm going to die. A horrible, slow, painful death. The bed is neatly made. It's sunshine yellow linen smell like vanilla and honey. It's hard to think about that not so long ago, someone, a person actually slept here. Yep, and she was brutally, brutally murdered. A photo on the wall depicts the busy and bustling city scenery. Located just off the center is a large vintage bus. The artist has focused on its color, as it looks like it might drive off the wall. Okay, an easel sits in the middle of the room. Painted on it is the beginning of what looks to be a sun. Stephanie, your future in photography was so bright, yet I had no idea how talented you were, even in other mediums. Above a bright golden couch is a large photograph of a field of daisies. It's been filtered in such a way that the flowers pop with vibrant color. I love this. What a pretty thing to look at. Yep, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do. Okay. Check the other ones just in case. And to the fifth floor we go. So this is where the rainbow haired girl was. We don't know her name. We know nothing about her personality. Besides, she was helping us oddly. Oh! 
Oh no no! <laughs> Why is there blood coming out of this one? The last door of the door appears to be locked. Despite this, it sounds like giggling is coming from the other side, and a fresh wet liquid seeps from beneath the door. Okay. Something's gonna happen. Why? Why? Really? I don't trust it. I, I just don't. It's gonna make me go all the way down. I don't know if I should go to the safe. And I still don't know what the puzzle is. One and six, two and eight, one and nine, one and zero. What does that mean? Is it like a code for something? Um, let me save again. And I don't think I have enough to open the safe. I really don't. Um, ba 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 ba. Okay, so what do we have here? We have three, so it's possible. Okay, let's try it. Left 36. Um, then number two is right 88. Number three is left 60. So that is three combination numbers. It may work. Whew, let's see if we can do it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 blood. I'm sure it is. <laughs> okay. So let's try this. Okay. Um, yeah, let's I know, I know I just saved. I know, I know. But I'm just a big baby. Yes. Okay, so what does that mean? Left 36? I can't do 36. Hmm. I don't get it. One and six, two and eight, one and nine, one and zero. Which, that almost makes it sound like it's the circles. Because there's two and eight, but everything else there's one of. So it's the number of loops that are there. But what is that for? What What am I solving? Hmm. And the combination is not going to help either. Because, like, I can't go that high. Left 36, right 88, left 60. 36? Uh, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to figure out what this combination, how I can unlock this locker, the safe, or a way to get into the dorms, as well as how to figure out this little code here. Um, because, like, I really think it has to do with the number of circles that are in the numbers. Six has one, eight has two, nine has one, and then zero has one. So it makes sense, at least. Closed loops or circles, however you want to call it. Um, I just don't know what it's the answer to. So in the next video, we're going to figure that out. And I feel like we're coming to the end of the game. I don't know what ending I'm going to get. I don't know if we'll be able to finish the next episode, but I think we'll be able to make some decent progress. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Nicole, do you really think it's a good idea to be going through a stranger's SD card? Who knows what's on there? And I guess you have a point. This is a bit intrusive, isn't it? Oh, um, I, I guess it is a student's SD card. Looks like it belongs to a student in the photography program. Me? Right? Yep, this thing's loaded with photos. I wonder if we should take a look. Mm, I'm not sure, sis. Aren't they kind of private? Private? Well, there's only one way for us to find out here. Um, it's a bit nosy, but not. No, we need to take a look. These photos, they're... Mm.